Hi guys, welcome back to Mr. Andy's class. Wow, it's so nice to have you here again. Okay, now today you are in the grade 12. It's so grateful to see all of you here. Okay, now we will learn about ESP because you know that last year you have learned a lot about ESP. Now, let's take a look about our new topic in English for specific purposes. For this meeting, our first meeting, you will learn about review text. Alright, because you know that you, I think that most of you in here already done like making review, which is movie, games, or a lot of things, or maybe in here, you have reviewed about food, probably. Alright, so now, in here, you are going to learn about review text. Alright, so in here, I'm going to ask you before, what is review text? Alright, some of you maybe say that, okay, to give some judgment, to give some score, that's okay, that's good. So, in here, okay, now, maybe, uh, probably that you have watched this movie, Manies, I think, or maybe you can play this game. So, according to you, this movie, or this game, what do you think? So, that's why we will review. So, in this class, on this subject, you will learn about the definition, generic structures, language features, and we are going to analyze some of the language features or, or even the generic structures of the review. So, let's take a look about number one, yeah, the definition. According to the BritishCourse.com, they said that review text is an evaluation. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to take my my pen in here. Yes. Okay, remember, review text is an evaluation of publication, such as a movie, video game, musical composition, book, a piece of hardware like a car, home appliance, or computer or an event or performance such as a live music concert a play musical theater show or dance show what else that you can review maybe a food okay because you know that recently most of youtuber they review something right so in here yeah you're going to review what do you want to review Alright, let's go next. Mm, wait a minute. Uh, mm, in here, okay. So, why you need to learn about this subject, by the way? Okay, the purpose of this review text, because it is used to critique the events or artworks for the readers, remember, yeah? To critique the events. Yeah, there's something that you want to critique, guys. Yeah, for example, events or artworks for the reader so that the reader or listener really know about the thing. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. Yeah. Uh, another explanation, I think. Next, so the next one is about generic structure because you know that if you want to review something in your written text, you need to know the step, okay? The step means in here what will be the first paragraph or even until the last paragraph. That's why we need to learn about generic structure. So, generic structure in the review text, the first one is orientation. This is gonna be the first paragraph, yeah? orientation it means that the background information of the text for example yeah uh, if you have watched something 
have watched movie yeah you need to know to write about the background of information in the text or in the movie okay the second one and after you already uh, wrote about the orientation you need to write about your interpretative recount what is interpretative recount in here means that the summary look at this the summary of an artwork including the character and the plot remember character and the plot do you know what is character yes the character is like to describe about the artist to describe about the actor to describe about think not only the person but only but also thing i think yeah and also what is plot plot is an event yeah what's happening in the story or in the movie or even in the book after you have written the interpretative recount you need to write about the evaluation evaluation in here means that concluding statement uh, the concluding statement like judgment opinion recommendation okay so in here evaluation not only one if you really want to uh, state your opinion about another thing to the movie you can write the evaluation more than one you can write like this evaluation one evaluation one evaluation two like that okay and etc so how many the question is how many it's up to you yeah it's up to you but remember if you want to write about the evaluation not don't do the redundancy it means that if you already state in the first evaluation you need to search about another yeah another evaluation another opinion yeah if you want to uh, we can say if you want already uh, state about the good thing in the first evaluation you can make another yeah you can say that the bad thing I think yeah the bad thing in the next evaluation but not really criticize I mean that if you say about bad things maybe you can say in vulnerable thing okay next the last one is evaluative submission okay evaluative submission in here so in this part you have to put in the last paragraph yeah consisting the appraisal or the punch line of the artworks being criticized okay let's take a look the example let's take a look the analyzing all right in here so because you know that orientation always you have to put in the first paragraph okay in the first paragraph why because it's about the background of information of text and then the second is this about content and overview yeah overview of the word or material will be reviewed and overview in here uh, could be the name usability and so forth okay okay in here uh I put the example uh, review from Spider-Man Homecoming. I like this movie, by the way. Homecoming is very fantastic movie from uh, Marvel. Yeah, Marvel. Uh, let's take a look about the orientation. This is the first paragraph for the review. Okay, let's take a look about one. In here, you know that there is background information. Yeah, background information of the text of the movie and etc. So in here, we can take a look. Spider-Man Homecoming is a fun movie about one of Marvel's most enduringly popular characters. Okay, remember characters. This is about the background. And then remember, it could be the name. Yeah, can be like Starry, an actual team, Tom Holland. Yeah, uh, yeah, this is the background. You can take a look about this one, guys. Yeah, you bring 
uh, after you watch the movie maybe you can put a little bit the background of information in the movie yeah probably there's the sequel of this movie blah 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 yeah and then you can put the author of the yeah maybe the author and also the actor yeah all right this is gonna be the first paragraph what about in the second paragraph let's take a look about this example because you know that that the second paragraph is about interpretative recount okay interpretative recount in here means like the summary of an artworks including the character and plot it's like what i have taught you before the character in here means that like you like want to describe about the actor about maybe the movie all right and also don't forget about the plot what's happening in the movie yeah and also you can say in here often to support the strengthen the work of an author or objects being reviewed the author compares the work or the work object or similar object you can also in here if they're like there is spider-man previous spider-man and also with this spider-man homecoming you can uh, compare guys which one is like uh you prefer in here yeah why you need to say why okay okay for example in here uh we can say that it is not a perfect film ah, this is take a look yeah why because the plot this is about the plot doesn't always have a total clear trajectory yeah while tony and peters uh, there's a comparison in here guys take a look right yeah yes this is about the interpretive recount next it's about evaluation because you know that evaluation is something like you want to give your assessment yeah evaluation yeah so in here, evaluation means that it's like concluding your judgment, your opinion, your recommendation based on the movie, okay? And here, you can say that providing a detailed description of the work material that was reviewed could be part about work or object, uniqueness, and quality. Yeah, you can give your evaluation about the uniqueness and quality of the movie, but do not remember do not give much description of the work or the object as we review the text like teach the perspective buyer or and it is not good yeah it is not good yeah evaluation of the work on in the subject or needed a buyer is the most correct the term is used in the second paragraph of its structure it is not far from the word good or no words or object so in here this is uh i put in here only one evaluation yeah maybe you can make another thing about the evaluation your opinion because you know that remember if you want to put your opinion maybe you can use like uh, uh i can say like i think yeah in my opinion i think in my opinion blah 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 yeah and this is also about the reviewer opinion yeah they can look about that one okay next another generic structure and here another generic structures is about evaluative submission this is the last opinion but and also you can say that this is about your conclusion about the movie yeah you can give you the review based on the your opinions yeah uh, you can like the punch line of the artworks being criticized okay for example in here so in here spider homecoming the sixth installment in the marvel cinematic might be might just be one the best one year okay Remember the last opinion about the past one year. Yeah, introduced to a new hilarious middle school age who's facing. Yeah, 
that he was he takes become a, an avenger maybe you can to put like your recommendation in here yeah recommendation yeah but in here yeah you have to uh, write wisely yeah do not like very judge to the some of the movie or something else okay we have talked about the generic structures now we want to talk about um, we can say about language features because you know that language feature is very important if you want to write your review all right number three language features in when you want to write about your review so it must be focused on specific participants like the name of the artworks we see michael etc yeah must specific because you want to review something yeah so you need participant but the participant you need to put like focus with the name of the artwork and etc all right next it's about simple present tense yeah because you know that simple present tense is talk about schedule action in the near features in some cases action happening now yeah after that you write about adjective adjective is very important to give your opinion yeah it's like to describe person or thing okay next is about past tense there will be a past tense in your written text yeah if you want to review something because it's talk about the past event if you want to talk about uh the events in the movie you need to write it in the past tense yeah do not write it in the present tense because it's already passed over okay next is about complex clause in here complex clause means a sentence that combines one independent clause with at least one dependent clause so in here we have learned about complex clause uh, in the previous year because you know that independence adalah in bahasa uh, dapat berdiri sendiri dan dapat, uh, tidak dapat berdiri sendiri okay so and the last one is about metaphor yeah this one also we have learned in the previous year it's like a comparison between two things that are not alike and replaces the word with another word yeah it's this is actually if you want to put it it's okay if not yeah optional i can say that next but but this is very important yeah because you want to uh com compare like we can say like in the interpretative recount yes i think yeah to compare right next all right so in here i'm gonna discuss about simple present tense why we need to uh write our review in the simple present tense because you know that if you want to review something you need to use in the uh what's happening now right your feeling now okay uh so in here you know that simple present tense using subject plus verb one plus object or we can say uh, s or es okay uh this is for verb the example uh i like this movie this movie because blah 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 yeah but using this simple present tense yeah but this is that's for verb but now you can also use or if you want to describe the thing you can say in here subject plus uh auxiliary verb plus noun plus adjective plus adverb example uh this is the best movie right okay yeah, that's about simple present tense now we are going to about to talk about sim uh, past tense past tense in here talk about past event 
So in here, subject plus verb to plus object or complement. Subject in here, uh, you can say that uh, are you, we, they, she, e, yeah, and etc. This one verb to uh, to explain about what's happening in the past. For example, oh, the function of the sim uh, simple past tense in here, uh, we can say because you want to explain about what's happening in the movie. Yeah, for example, uh, okay, the spider, the spider, uh, began, began to jump, right, in the movie, yeah, so you can say this one, and also if you want to talk about, to explain about noun, object, you can say in here, subject, auxiliary verb, plus noun, plus adjective, plus adverb, alright, so in here guys, uh, everyone, you have to get, you have to take a look that auxiliary verb in here is was were was is for it or oh, we can say I it or he she it all right well, this one where is for they we we have learned about this one okay they we you uh, what else? Uh, can we use I in here? I were? Okay, my question to you. Can we use? Alright, we're going to discuss this one later. Alright, next. Okay, now let's take a look about our analyzing in here, guys. Analyzing. So, we have learned about the... Oh, wait. About metaphor. Any question about metaphor, guys? So, metaphor... For example, I have to roll right in here. Metaphor, for example, you are rock. You are a rock, yeah. Uh, for example, also uh, the Spidey. Spidey in here, Spider-Man, yeah. Spidey. Uh, uh, Spidey's heart. Spidey's heart. Is gold that's metaphor okay now let's take a look about our analysis if you have any question about this one just let me know guys all right so let's take a look let's analyze uh, spider-man homecoming based on the uh, language features next I'm gonna change my pen with the yellow one okay in here using simple present tense right Okay, that's very good. Okay, and remember using uh, focus on the specific participant. Okay, like in here, an actual scene, so on, uh, Peter Parker. Okay, and, and also this one, Spider Man. Yeah, and also using adjective. Let's take a look about the adjective in here. Is there any adjective in here, guys? Mm, oh, brave, yeah. Uh, mm, this is also. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna see which one. Uh, clever, funny, true, yeah. That's adjective and also using past tense. Let's take a look. Is there any like using past tense in here, guys? Okay, let me see. Okay, the word was understandable. So, yeah, when you talk about this one, it's related what happening in the movie, right? Yeah, if like you want to retell about what's going on in the movie. Okay, that's about past tense. Complex is about there is uh, independent and dependent text. Independent and dependent text. And metaphor. Is there any metaphor in here, guys? Yeah, if you found it, just let me know. Alright. So, yeah. That's all for today about our meeting. So, because you know, because you know, guys, that our system now using
flip classroom please uh, learn about this one because on our first meeting I'm going to give you exercise and please bring some question to our classroom because we need to discuss it about this topic okay all right just be ready because I hope in this flip classroom you are more active than me okay all right if you don't have any question i'll see you on monday thank you so much everyone and keep writing god bless you all don't forget like subscribe to support me thank you everyone god bless you bye bye bye